All right, we are back now in the CI kitchen with guest chef Carrie Anderson. Earlier, we were learning about kind of the differences between duck eggs and chicken eggs. Yes. And we use duck eggs today in our recipe. Let's kind of remind everybody what we've got for yeah. dinner. Yes, yeah, so pre-baked pie crust, um, just from the store, deep dish, cooked it in advance for about 10 minutes. And then we combined uh, two, three duck eggs, about a cup of heavy cream, some spinach, um, ham, and cheese. Baked that at 375 for about 25 to 30 minutes till the center set. And there it is, and all there it nice is. and set. Yes. And a, a duck egg goes a long way. It does. <laughs> yes, for every three chicken eggs you use, you only need two duck eggs. Wow, okay. The first piece that comes out is always the worst. That's what my uh, pastry chef told me in culinary school. <laughs> but you know school. what? It may come out difficult, but it's not going to alter the taste any That's right, all, that's I'm right. I'm sure. That's right. You know, that's how I feel about pancakes. The first one always is It's always worst. horrible. It's always. always bad. Yeah. But then you've also mixed up some other duck egg creations down there. What I is have. that? Yeah, so these are egg, I just call them egg muffins. You cook them in a muffin cup like you would cupcakes. Okay. Um, and so similar uh, recipe, which I provided, um, but the difference in this one is I added just different mix-ins. You can also make these in, in advance, put them in your freezer, and both of these you can pop in your air fryer or your oven oh. to reheat and serve in just a few minutes. Yeah, those people who are like doing all the meal prepping and yes. you know, trying to stay on a plan, this would be great to have on Absolutely. Hand. Grab it out of the oven. Absolutely. Okay, and then it looks like we're having some tossed salad to go with all of our... My favorite thing, a lot of folks don't think about having salad with their breakfast or their brunch, but it really is um, a very... Sorry about that. Nope. Side dish. We're throwing forks We're throwing here. everything. <laughs> we're throwing everything. So just a pre-made bagged salad. Um, one of my favorite dressings, which is just the Marzetti Caesar. You're Toss right. that up. I would never think to have salad with breakfast. Yeah, it's a really good textural contrast because the other elements are a little soft texturally. Yes. So this gives you a little bit of crispy crunch. I love that idea. Okay, Thanksgiving is coming up. This might be a good, like, Black Friday yes. um, oh, yeah. meal right For here. Sure. Um, you've got some tips that are going to be shared over on your Facebook group. Yes, we're already starting. We're getting ready for the holidays. Right now on my page, there is a chart to tell you when you should take your turkey out to start safely thawing. Ooh, okay. And we'll have other tips such as that leading up to the holidays. What is your best Thanksgiving turkey day tip? Um, so I do smoke my turkey and I like to brine it about 24 hours in advance. The tip that I use, and you have to be super careful with this, is I do it in my garage refrigerator in the bottom drawer. So I just fit my turkey right down in there. I pour my brine over it and I let it sit there. Then of course, I have to take the whole refrigerator apart almost and <laughs> clean it and sanitize it. But uh, typically people do that in a bucket and it helps just uh, make the turkey taste really great and moist. Yes. Um, but I, I don't have room for a bucket in my refrigerator. Well, no, and there's nothing worse than dry turkey. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. Well, this is not horrible. This looks amazing, Thank and we you. love when you come. This looks Thank great. You. Thank you. Um, if you're ready to experiment with some duck eggs, we've got two great recipes today, courtesy of Carrie. There's her Facebook um, page. Go give her um, a follow there. Join the group. Get in on all of the action um, because she mixes up some pretty unique flavors here. And we look forward to her next visit. If you want to um, get the recipe or the link, we'll have it at CILiving.tv.